Shoulder examination. Uh, so any joint examination when we do, we have to go with look, feel and move. Uh, look means inspection, feel is palpation and then we'll do the movements in the joints, right? And after that we have got some uh, spatial tests, right? And any examination, so first of all what we have to do is we have to explain a few things to the patient. Number one, what you're gonna do. So we have to explain it properly to the patient what you're gonna do in shoulder examination. We need to mention about the exposure and chaperone. Exposure is going to be above the waist and make sure we have the chaperone while doing the examination and please do not forget to take consent. Right, so now let's see all the steps of shoulder examination. Now I'm going to do a shoulder examination. This includes, uh, first of all, we'll have the look of the joint, we'll feel the joint and then we'll do some movements. And for the purpose of examination, I want you to undress above your waist. I have a chaperone to ensure your privacy. May I proceed? Yes. All right. For examination, what we'll do, we'll make sure the patient is standing in an anatomical position. And first thing we're going to check is uh, we're going to check the alignment of the joint, meaning both the shoulder joint, anterior superior iliac spine, knee joint, and the ankle joint, they're in the same plane. And make sure when you're doing the examination, uh, inspection mainly, you're doing it from the front, from the side, and from the back. Right, let's have a look. So as we can see, patient is standing in an anatomical position, both the shoulder joint, anterior superior iliac spine, knee joint, and a ankle joint they are in the same plane and if we have a look at the shoulder joint we can see uh, shoulder joint is aligned there is no deltoid wasting and uh, now John what I'm going to do I'm going to go to your side and to your back is that all right okay so then we will do the inspection from the side and from the back right so when we are doing the inspection from the back what we're looking for we're looking for any kind of uh, wing scapula or we're looking for any kind of uh, trapezius uh, muscle wasting right Right, so now uh, I'm going to touch your joint. So first of all, we're going to check the temperature. So make sure compare both the sides. And then we'll do the palpation. So we'll start with this joint. That's your sternoclavicular joint. And make sure you're doing it one by one on each side. Keep looking at the patient's face for any kind of tenderness. Then we will feel the clavicle. Acromion clavicular joint, head of humerus, greater fibrosity. Right, and then we'll bring the palpation from the back. Can you please just turn around? Right, so what we're going to look for, uh, we're going to look for the scapula. We're going to look for the border and the wing of scapula. Right, and make sure you repeat it on both the sides. So this is a flexion. Take it uh, as long as you can go. And then we'll come down. Extension and let's see uh, the maximum where the patient can go. Perfect. Yeah, now in the normal position. Now let's see the abduction on the side. Go as long as you can go. Perfect. Now let's come back and cross your arms. Yay. Perfect. Okay. So that was abduction and adduction. All right. Then we're going to do external rotation. So that's external rotation. Yeah. External and internal rotation. Perfect. Right. So all these are active movements. You can relax. If the patient has got frozen shoulder, so let's see what will be the problem in the movements. So for example, patient has got problem in the left arm. So if you can see there is a restriction of the movements when you're doing the abduction and adduction. Right. And if you go for flexion, let's see what happens. Again, if you see there is a restriction of active movements in the left arm. Let's find out in external rotation what happens. Again, you will see there is restriction of the movements in the left arm in external rotation as well. And active movements, and even if you're doing it on passive movements as well, it will remain the same, right?
Bring your right hand to the side. Bring it a bit forward. And now just down. Perfect. Now uh, I'll just try to resist it down. Just uh, resist my force. Right. Any pain? All right. This is your empty can test. Right. Let's do painful arc. So what you do, you bring the arm of the patient up. Right. Like this. And now what patient has to do? Patient has to bring it down slowly, slowly. And let's see if there is any pain. Bring it down slowly, slowly. Perfect. Any pain anywhere? No. Right. Thank you. Empty can test. Uh, we check the weakness and impingement of supraspinatus. Whereas in painful arc, uh, what we check? We check again the impingement of supraspinatus. So that completes our shoulder examination. Uh, make sure you are doing it in both the shoulder joint. Plus, uh, to complete the examination, we always do the examination of uh, one joint above and one joint below. And make sure you're doing full neurological examination of the upper limb as well. Thank you. Any kind of movements. And then we'll be doing some spatial tests. Right. And for the purpose of examination, what we need, we need you to uh, undress above your waist. Uh, and thank you for your exposure. I have a chaperone to ensure your privacy. <laughs>